This Ag Vision program is made possible through the generous support of Syngenta Seeds NK brand. The results you need, the freedom to choose. And by Farms.com. Ag news, market prices, ag careers, and farm real estate. You'll find it all at Farms.com. This week, the top manager team addresses this question from a farmer. Is the marketing of crops and livestock a skill that farmers should develop, or is it better to hire top people for this? Managing is going to continue to be, marketing a bigger part, is going to continue to be an important aspect of farming as a business. We, the current environment into which we sell our outputs is getting more volatile. Volatility is another word for risk. And volatility basically talks to the idea that prices are going up and down a lot. Inside this up and down environment, we have to pick times when we're going to sell. Uh, given that this is the kind of environment we're selling in, it does indeed, it is important, it continues to be important for farmers to develop skill in this area. Uh, in my opinion, it's useful for them to seek expert advice or for groups, either in individual or in groups, to seek expert advice. If we, if we consider the parallel of agronomy, uh, as the industry has advanced in the, in the agronomy area, uh, picked up things like micronutrient, uh, no-till, etc., it's really been through the work of experts who've studied and made a lifetime of, uh, of improving that skill that these skills have become part of uh, farming today. Likewise, I think it's important, uh, it's useful to consider the idea that farmers, either individually or as a group, go out and seek expert advice in the area of marketing that will help them to address, measure, prepare a plan for, and measure their progress when it comes to marketing in an increasingly volatile environment. Well, marketing is becoming more and more complex, especially as we get into value-added products. We're getting more diversified in our businesses. Uh, there's becoming more open and free ways that we can market our products. And I think the key to developing a successful marketing approach is, first of all, making sure that you're growing something market wants and continually being sensitive to changes in the market demand. Second of all, doing a good job of projecting in advance of what you produce, how much you'll produce and what quality. And then, if you have that information, you can start looking at opportunities before you ever produce that and where you can grow at a profit or where you can market at a profit. And one of the essential ingredients in that is knowing your cost of production. If you know what you're going to produce, you know what it costs, you can go out to the market, you start looking at opportunities where you can achieve the mar margin you need for your return on equity goals. One of the worst things people do is they wait till the crop is produced or the livestock's already in the pen, and they say, now how can I market it? Many times the most profitable opportunities have been lost. There are a number of strategies that I see successful farmers following, which include accessing good uh, outside experts, marketing advisors, newsletters. Some farmers pool together and have marketing clubs where they share ideas. And in some cases, farmers just face the fact that they're producers. That's what they do best, and they don't like marketing or finance, and they may actually hire a professional marketing service to do that for them. So I think we have to all look at these tools and decide what things we'll do in source in a business and what we'll outsource. And there are times when we may very, very, may, very well may profit from outsourcing that skill? Good question. Effective marketing is, is a, a challenge and it does take some skills. And it takes people with an aptitude to really dig in and go after it. And in this day and age, uh, certainly comfort on the computer is a real asset, uh, as well as a fundamental understanding of how the markets work. Um, there's, there's, there's the little phrase um, that's been used, do what you do best, let others do the rest. And top farmers are very good at looking at creative ways where they can focus on what they do the best. And in many times, it is production related. So they look for people who can help them with the marketing. Sometimes it's a spouse. Sometimes it's a, it's a neighbor or a group of people working together. Sometimes it's a consultant or a broker that they'll contract that helps keep them, uh, keep them aware of the market opportunities on a day-to-day -day by day basis. But certainly the farm of tomorrow will be driven by an awareness and an intimate relationship with the marketplace, however you do it. And, um, and there are 
are a number of creative ways of where farmers have worked together in, in small business corporations or cooperatives where one of the members of the group has a particular uh, aptitude towards marketing. But, but certainly, however you do it, try and get some, um, some uh, insight, professional help, or, or a connection with someone that can really help hone the market opportunities for the, for the production that you've worked all year to produce. You know, don't, don't lose, don't leave anything on the table. Get help. I have not heard of people doing that. I think there are there probably are some few folks who do it, but I have what I hear mostly is individuals will hire somebody uh, who's in that business. I like the idea of doing that. My problem is I don't see very many people out there to hire, um, I, and I and I don't quite know why. There's not there doesn't seem to be a major supply of really good marketers available for hire, and I don't and I and I keep asking myself why is that. Um, and I think it's probably a combination of things that, that comes down to there's not much of a market for those kinds of services. Farmers have been reluctant to pay for it um, and maybe haven't appreciated how important it is. Uh, and so I haven't seen a rush of people who might be qualified to run out there and say, we're here to help you with your problem um, if you're not willing to pay for it. And, and so. Well, I guess fundamentally, while I really like the idea, I'm not sure who I would suggest anybody to go to because I don't see very many people out there supplying the service. One of the things you'll see is that most profitable farmers are exceptional at one of three areas, either in marketing or in production or being low cost. And then they're above average in the other key performance areas. If marketing, though, is a person's strength, that is where their talent and their passion lies, then I think they should capitalize on it and do it internally. But if not, outsourcing to a top marketing consultant or going together with other farmers to hire a specialist, I think makes a lot of sense. Effective marketing skills can be learned, but it's not all that easy. And producers need to decide if marketing is where they have the greatest comparative advantage. If not, they ought to decide whether their time would be better spent somewhere else where they can capitalize on what they do best.